Hey guys, welcome back to The Smoking Gun. Uh, just a short little cigar story here for you. Um, I just uploaded the La Flor Dominicana Double Hero video, which is this cigar. And I have a story that I want to tell about it. Um, you know, a lot of you new cigar smokers, you're getting into it. Uh, and you've heard me before strongly advise you, you know, don't smoke this particular cigar. It's definitely not for newbies. It's for the more experienced cigar smoker. Because uh, I've had a, I've had quite a few experiences with that. And this cigar is the main story. So let's just get into it. Um, graduating high school, this was uh, a few years ago. And I was invited to a grad party um, and, and I don't, I didn't drink in high school or anything like that. So I, but I thought, Hey, you know, it's a celebration. Um, a lot of my friends were there and I said, you know, I should just bring a nice cigar. Cause I was getting into cigars. I was really starting to like them, but I wanted to try a Maduro. And I went into this shop where I bought my first cigar ever. And there was a younger guy working there and I was like, Hey, you know, just, I was like, what would you say for a good Maduro? And I should have specified that I was a newbie. I don't blame this guy as much as, as I should have been more specific. I just kind of said, hey, what's a, what's a good Maduro? You know, a good Maduro cigar. And he pointed me to the LFD Double E Herald. I think he, he also pointed me at, to another cigar don't remember which one but his recommendation was double the hero he said you know oh i wake up in the morning and smoke this with a cup of coffee and just get it's great and i was like okay so i picked it up not really knowing the <laughs> the power of that cigar and it was one of the ones that was jet black okay and you know i uh we got to the party, uh, hung out for a little bit. I certainly got permission to smoke a cigar in the, in the backyard. That's where everyone was there in the backyard. Uh, definitely got permission to do it. I wouldn't just smoke at someone else's house without permission. I got permission. Uh, and all my friends were around and uh, lit up the cigar and we started smoking it. Uh, everyone, you know, the friends would take puff every now and then, just try it out. And I was loving it. I was love it. I was like, damn, this is a great cigar. I thought it was awesome. And remember, I was a newbie here. And uh, I made several mistakes that night. One, I didn't eat any dinner. Uh, they had some like appetizers there that I launched on periodically. I had a water. I lost it. Put it somewhere during the party. Didn't see where I put it. Forgot where it was. So I didn't have a water with me. So I was just smoking a cigar. Um, and, you know, it was a good hour and a half smoke, I think. I took my time with it. Um, but I was, so everyone kind of left. They were mingling with other people. And I was sitting there. And I was like, am I lightheaded? I couldn't really, it didn't, it wasn't really registering with me. I was like, I, I kind of feel lightheaded, but I don't know. I kind of, I feel fine. I can move. I'm coordinating and everything. I'm, it's not like I'm, you know, hunched over. It, it wasn't registering with me. And then, literally, my friend comes over to me because it was very late at night. And he's like, hey, you know, the party's dying down. Let's go. And I was like, okay. I put the cigar out in a, in a cup and... I was going to take it with me and dispose of it properly. And I stood up. And it was like being punched in the face with nicotine. I was domed. I was like, holy mackerel. I was, I literally was drunk off of the cigar. I was literally couldn't stand and I became extremely nauseous as well. And as you can probably 
I have already predicted. I puked. Pretty bad. Um, it, thankfully, it didn't really get anywhere. Um, and I was like, oh my god. And I was like, oh, buddy, we, we gotta get the hell out of here. Oh my god, I'm fucked. So, we rush out the door. And we leave. And we're in his car, and he starts driving. I'm like, put the AC on now. And he does. And we're driving down the road, and I just get the nauseous feeling again. I'm like, oh. And I, I had to... I was like, pull over. And he pulled over, and I got out, and I puked again from this cigar. And that was, and it, by the way, he, he dropped me at home and, oh man, you just feel like garbage. Oh man, you feel, it's like a, it's like a, it's literally like a hangover. You just feel like, uh, you know, oh, it's awful. You know, you're, you're sweating, you know, you're, you just, you're queasy just all the time. You're really exhausted, you're loopy. Oh, it was awful. I mean, I was sick for the rest of the night. Didn't like throw up anymore, um, but I was just so sick. Just felt awful. It was hell. Even the next day, I didn't feel very good. So, it's it's not it's not embarrassing to talk about it um, because I learned a lot from that experience, and it happens to us all, people. Uh, if you get into cigars, it's gonna happen to you unless you really don't smoke anything strong at all. Which I, I think you should. I think you should branch out and try everything like I, I do. I try to. Um, you know, I like everything from very light Connecticut's to the strongest of the strong. You know, it's just... Because it, I like all cigars. So I encourage you to get out in there and try things. And if you get sick from a cigar or something, it's not the end of the world. Just drink water. Calm down. You know, just... Take deep breaths, remain calm, just drink some water and you're going to be fine. Um, eat something sweet, you know, something with sugar in it. Um, I love having cornbread, I don't know why. Uh, but cornbread, chocolate, you know, anything like that. And just relax, don't freak out, you're going to be fine. It happens to everybody, okay? So I thought that might just be a fun little story. Uh, some of you who can relate might get a laugh out of it. Uh, it wasn't funny at the time. I was extremely embarrassed, really upset with myself. But again, I don't blame the guy at the shop. He didn't really know. He didn't realize that I was a new cigar smoker. Um, so, but hey, you know, it was a learning experience. And here I am with that cigar again, reunited with it. And I love it. It's a great cigar. So I'm very fond of this cigar because of this. I really am. So, sorry I had to drag this out, uh, you know. Ah, you know me, I'm pretty long-winded. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, uh, and I'll see you next time.